Hey there guys, welcome to a quick episode of RoboFett. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys that I just recently went with my fiance to see Taylor Swift at her latest show in Nashville. And uh, now I'm in a hotel. We're kind of in a seedy hotel, close to downtown. I made a shirt for the occasion. Watch me sweep, now watch me tight, 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 tight. Now watch me sweep, sweep, now watch me tight, tight, Anyway, she put on a great show. She had a lot of uh, cool people show up. For some of you who don't know, she does have surprise guests come out. But my favorite was Steven Tyler. She had Steven Tyler show up and I just lost my crap. I mean, take a look at this. The person that's about to come out on the stage has been inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with his band Aerosmith. <laughs> I did really enjoy the concert a lot more than I thought I was going to. I was kind of dreading going to it, but after it, I am proud to say that I am maybe a Swifty now. I don't know. We're, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, uh, she brought up something really, really, really good in the middle of her concert, actually. I was kind of taken back by it. She basically said that you should be doing what you love. What you do should impact you in such a way that... If you're not doing something that you love, if, if you're being cynical and judgmental and you're not enjoying what you're doing, then stop doing that and do something else. True happiness, true happiness is so hard to find in this world. When you find something that makes you truly, truly happy, you should do it. You should do it. And I honestly, I look back at my videos, I look at my YouTube channel, and it makes me happy. It's something in my life that I'm just really happy to do. Whether anybody's watching or not, I don't care. Because it's for me. It's something that I can do. At the end of the day, I can be... I, it might not be perfect, you know, but I can be proud of it. I can be like, hey, look, I did this. I did this thing. And I just wanted to thank her for making me think about that. Anybody else you might have made think a little deeper that night other than just going to a Taylor Swift concert. Because, I mean, man, there was a mixed crowd there. You had little girls there from, like, ages like 8 to 13, oh my god. It was like a freaking scream fest, you could not hear yourself think. And with that was a lot of dads that were drunk, <laughs> that were dragged along, just trying to enjoy it any way that they could. But, I mean, there was a good mixed range of people there, and everybody there just seemed to have such a good time. Anyway, I also want to talk about a quick gaming topic. Um, for all of you who don't know, I am super excited about Star Wars. I... Star Wars means so much to me, um, and I've really, really been looking forward to this uh, new Star Wars Battlefront game coming out, as well as the movie, of course. Um, and apparently there was a alpha tester, and I'm not sure how reliable all this is, but basically what he said was that the game is broken, and that they don't have a lot of time left to fix it, and he's afraid that they might release the game broken. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me in the least, because they're trying to launch this game as fast as they can, because they know the movie's coming out. And it's gonna make me so mad! I mean, it should make you mad! I am so tired of it! I'm so tired of them giving us crap! I'm so tired of them shoveling out games so fast, and they don't care, they know it's broken! They're like, well, we'll just patch it, we'll just do the day, we'll just do the day three patch, it's, it's fine! 
fine, guys. It's fine. Don't worry. No, it's not. It's not. We pay a lot of money for these games. Some people are pre-ordering PS4s that are exclusive to this game. Some people are pre-ordering expensive collector's editions. And you're going to give us something that we can't even play, probably? I'm not going to be surprised, guys. I mean, think about how big the Arkham Knight was. Think about how much time they had to put in that game. Think about how much, and it still came out broken on PC. And it still had glitches on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I mean, it could be a good thing if it releases broken, because maybe this will be the one game that this is the last straw that will break the camel's back and people will be like, no, we're not doing any you you release a solid game or we're not buying it. Anyway guys, uh, let me know, what, what do you think about Taylor Swift? Uh, have you been drugged to any of her concerts or do you love her? Have you ever been to one of her concerts? What do you think about it? Tell me what do you think about Star Wars Battlefront? Are you excited for the movie? Do you think that this game might come out broken? Do you think it seems rushed? I want to know in the comments below, so let me know, guys. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, rate, subscribe. You know, like I always say, you don't have to, but if you did, it would really, really, really help me out. And as always, keep those Punisher hats on, and I'll see you later.